Good morning, you guys. I have that fresh rolled out of the bed look. I think it's catching on. I think it's, I think, you know, I'm gonna be a trendsetter to make me some coffee, but it's Friday morning and I wanted to direct your guys' attention over to the channel Freedom Acres for, you guessed it, frugal family food. Kid. It's an eight cup coffee day. Today we have Amanda from Freedom Acres. You guys, if you've been following fr uh, Frugal Family Food for a while, then you have seen her and heard her before. Um, but today, um, since it is harvest month, she is showing us how she cooks up some of her garden beauties. Um, she is using something that I have never eaten, I have never grown, and it's called vining okra. It's also known as Chinese okra. Um, but she is using it in a salad, and she also made dessert from uh, blueberries that she uh, picked during the season. I would love it if you guys checked it out. Now the video that I have for you today on my channel, um, I have a lot of people asking me questions about how I do Weight Watchers. So I am going to um, share that with you. But if there's anything uh, else that you would like to know about how I do Weight Watchers without having a Weight Watchers membership, then let me know in the comment section below. So that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tangie the Caver's wife and today I want to talk to you about how I do the Weight Watchers plan without having a membership. Now I know a lot of people who have done Weight Watchers on a membership and have been extremely successful. Um, but for me, it's not in the monthly budget. And so I've had to figure out how to do the smart plan. Uh, I'm sorry, the smart points plan without the membership. And, uh, and I have figured it out and I am now 20 pounds lighter. I still have more to lose but I feel very good about the track that I'm on, about the things that I have learned doing Weight Watchers, and so I wanted to share with you the updated version. I did talk to you guys back in November about how I was doing uh, Weight Watchers then, but since then I have incorporated an app, some of the um, extras that go with the app, and I uh, wanna tell you about some of my favorite foods to keep in stock that helps me stay on plan. So when I started back in November, um, I shared with you guys that I found a website where I could calculate smart points and then I saved the uh, I saved a shortcut to the website on my home screen. And that worked, except it was kind of inconvenient. Okay, it was a lot inconvenient. But someone told me about the app I track bites and I looked it up. I was super excited to learn that it was a one-time purchase of $2.99 and um, that it was compatible with my iOS phone. I don't know if it's compatible with any other kind of devices, but I can use it on my iPhone. You can set it up using different kinds of plans, um, but I just chose the Smart Points plan uh, with Weight Watchers. And um, I was also able to put in my height, weight, age, gender, uh, my activity level, and whether or not I was a nursing individual, which I am not. And so it calculated how many smart points that I need in a day to successfully lose weight. Um, and so I've been doing that ever since, and I absolutely love it. It helps to keep my smart points every day. I'm also able to calculate and track my activity points if I work out. And um, it also helps me keep up with how much water I've had and all of those other things. So I highly, highly recommend if you're like me and you're on a budget to check out iTrack Bites uh, and see if it's something that might work for you. Within that app, there are a couple of uh, extras that you can have added on. Uh, so there are two that I invested in, again, one-time purchases. Um, one of them was for $1.99 and it was the recipe builder. And I purchased that because I cook from scratch a lot. And so, and I, you know, and I use my own recipes. So there's really, I can't just look that up. Um, so I just put in my recipe, put in how many servings it's for, and then it calculates the smart points for me. So that has been really, really huge. The online food database. Um, and again, it just has a lot of foods that other people have plugged in. 
um, everything from things that you can purchase at a restaurant to, um, you know, prepackaged foods. And it just makes it a little bit more convenient looking those things up just a little bit faster. So anyway, um, they do have some other add-ons, but those are the ones that I have needed for my lifestyle and I love them. I highly recommend iTrack Bites. So I also wanted to share with you guys some of the foods that I like to keep on hand uh, that help me stay on plan. And they're, uh, they aren't specialty items except for one thing. And, um, and they're very inexpensive. So like I said, we have a very tight grocery budget, which you guys know because you've seen my grocery hauls. Um, and so here are a few of the things that I like to have on hand. Um, they help me to stay full, they're low in points, and they're inexpensive. So first, let me start with the one specialty item that I purchase, and that is Truvia. Truvia is a stevia sweetener. Um, I like it because it's not bitter. It is a blend. It's not pure stevia, but I believe the sweetener that it is blended with to keep it from getting bitter is also a naturally derived sweetener. So I feel really good about using it. I've not had any problems. I like the way it tastes. And it's affordable in that it doesn't break the bank, but it's not something that I can purchase every week. So, um, but thankfully I don't have to because a little bit goes a long way. So I buy a box of 80 packets and that will last me for a month. And it's $5.88 at my Walmart. So that's like the one specialty item that I get. Everything else, you can find at Aldi and it's really, really cheap, eggs. I love having eggs on hand because it's an inexpensive protein, it's filling, and it's only two smart points per egg. No, I do not just eat the egg whites. <sighs> I like the whole egg. So um, normally like a breakfast, I'll have two eggs and then you know a few other things with it. Um, but yeah, eggs are great, uh, makes a great snack. With eggs being so as cheap as they are now, I can buy like four dozen at a time and then uh, boil one dozen just to have some hard boiled eggs in the uh, refrigerator for snacking or to add to um, my meals. Another thing that I like to keep on hand is, I'm gonna say it the way the first person told me to say it, it's new fatchel cheese. Apparently that's not right either, but I'm at a loss. So it's basically the cream cheese that has the third less fat of regular cream cheese. Um, Sometimes our Aldi will have it on sale for sale for 79 cents a block, and it makes really great dips. It makes really good uh, spreads. I love it on toast, um, and I'm actually going to be doing a video next week. It's part of a collaboration. A couple of other ladies that do Weight Watchers, um, and I'm actually going to be using those in my recipes that I'm gonna show you, so be on the lookout for that. So another thing that I like to have on hand is celery. I love celery and I have learned that celery is one of those things that either you love it or you hate it. I love it. I love it cooked. I love it raw. I love it in salad. I love it as a little vehicle to get the peanut butter from the plate to my mouth. I love celery. Uh, it's filling. It's zero points and it's inexpensive. To fill it with like a pimento cheese, tuna, peanut butter, uh, new fat chill cheese. It's delish, I love it. I love the crunch, it's a great snack, it's great as part of a meal, I love it. So another thing that I have come to love like super, super recently is Zinger teas. You guys, they are so yummy, they're all natural, and they taste like Kool-Aid when you add a little bit of sweetener to them. I'm talking about black cherry, I'm talking about raspberry, I'm talking about lemon, What's the other one? Wildberry, blueberry, all kinds of zinger teas, and they're delicious. Get you some zinger teas. You'll thank me. You're welcome in advance. I need in my arsenal apple cider vinegar. Now you can, like you can use that for to make vinaigrettes and things like that, but I love it for the Trim Healthy Mama Good Girl Moonshines. It has really helped me kick my sweet tea habit. Um, I make a quart a day. Uh, it keeps me flushed. It keeps my skin looking good, which is not looking good right now. Of course, you can't tell because I'm wearing makeup. I just feel like I do better and stay on plan when I have Good Girl Moonshines to sip on. I also love Trim Healthy Mama's 
Shrinker, which is a tea drink made with almond milk, oolong tea, cayenne pepper, uh, a little bit of stevia, and what was the other thing? There's something else, but it is super good. It's creamy, and you feel like you're having a coffee shop drink um, when you have it. So definitely check that out. I don't have all the ingredients to make it right now, but when my budget allows, it's happening. Bananas. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Bananas are zero points and they are cheap. Normally I can get them at Aldi for 44 cents a pound. However, my Gordon Food Service store actually has bananas for 33 cents a pound and they look better than what our Aldi's usually has. So yeah, I, I love bananas because I mean, for one, first of all, you have the banana. You can just eat the banana, it's zero points and you know, it's a great, it's a great snack, but you can also make smoothies with them. You can make pancakes with them. You can make, um, what's something else I make? I like to slice it up and drizzle some melted peanut butter on top and have a snack with it. I mean, you can do so many different things with bananas. So bananas is definitely a must have in the arsenal of Weight Watcher plan tracking thing, whatever. Tuna is another inexpensive, versatile protein that comes in at only one smart point per can. Um, and this is the last one I'm going to share, although I still have like a huge list of things that I love to have on hand. I really, really love the Zero Smart Point Weight Watcher Soup, the cabbage soup. It is tasty, it is filling, it is comforting, and it's delicious. Even my husband likes it. He's not a huge, huge fan of like vegetable soups, but he really liked it. I, I pulled it out um, last night. I made tuna melts for dinner and I uh, pulled out that soup and heated it up. Uh, you know, if anybody wanted some and he had some and he took the rest for lunch today. So um, yeah, so I will put the link to that recipe in the description box below. If you're interested, you can check it out. That's it for today. Uh, I know there's, like I said, I know there's more, but those are the ones that I really love that I really try to keep on hand and um, that have really helped me out here lately. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Just leave them in the description. Just leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, you made it to the end of the video. Awesome. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. I would love for you to stick around. Um, like I've said before, we talk about biblical homemaking and womanhood here. We talk about homeschooling, working from home. Uh, we talk about gardening and food preservation and all the cool things. And I would love it if you would hang out with me. And then while you're at it, over here, I've got a video that I suggest you watch. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day.